Welcome to Beloved Blackness. And guess what? It's vlog 50. I can hardly believe it. So grateful for the impetus um, to uh, move into um, just speaking uh, my voice in hopes of capturing um, the, a collective voice for us as people of African descent. And uh, for those who didn't watch the first vlog, um, my mentor, Baba Kobe Cambone, when he transitioned unexpectedly, um, he was somebody who invested deeply in me as a person, as a student, graduate student. And um, I just knew I hadn't lived into the potential that he'd seen in me um, when I was um, in graduate school at Florida a &M University. And so I just continue to give him honor and appreciate all of what he saw in me then and what he continues to see in me as an ancestor and someone who I know is cheering me on to greater works. And so um, I want to just first give honor to him, um, who he is in my life still. Um, so, you know, we're dealing with a lot. You know, there have been um, protests, rebellions um, in response to the atrocities, the continued perpetuation of violence upon us as African descended persons. And what came to my mind today is something that I shared um, on my personal Facebook um, post, um, I think it was last week sometime, but um, which is there's a dear friend of mine, Tony Renee Battle, who um, has taught me a lot and who always talks about how important it is for us to connect to ancestral practices as it relates to taking care of ourselves. So I just want to talk about a few of those. And the first that comes to mind is just the importance of like water. Um, and so those of you who have access to a bathtub, I want to encourage you this weekend, soak. Take a long bath and just allow yourself to soak and allow just the stresses of all of what we're experiencing in terms of the traumatic stress of anti-Black violence and the psychic terrorism that goes along with the physical violence, but also the emotional, spiritual violence that we are enduring. Allow yourself to just sit in a bath. And then I wanna encourage you to connect to the songs of old. And so that can mean different things for different people. I grew up in a Baptist tradition and I know that's not everybody's tradition, but I want you to think of those songs that helped our ancestors get over. So it could be um, what we refer to now as Negro spirituals. It could be the old 100s. It could be a song you heard your big mama singing. Whatever it is, I invite you to bring forth um, that song, which then will bring forth the spirit of the joy of our ancestors, the strength of our ancestors, the endurance of our ancestors, the faith, the hope, the belief that what you see in the present isn't all that there is. And so that we can connect to the power of God. We can connect to the power of those ancestors that are working on our behalf that we, like I said last week, we get to have the voice and be the hands and be the arms and the feet of, and to be able to be renewed by connecting to their story, connecting to their journey, through different ways. And so today I want to invite you to do that through song. And so I was kind of thinking, meditating, praying about what song um, to um, share today that really helps me to connect in terms of connecting to some of those, um, uh, those, those people I grew up with, you know, who would sit on the front row and they would just belt it out. And you could just feel it in your whole body, even as a little girl, I didn't know all of what was going on, but just calling forth the collective help in order to be able to face the difficulties of that week, but also to be able to have their hope and joy renewed. And so this is a song that comes to mind. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good. You've been so to thank you, Lord. 
You've been my friend. You've been my friend. You've been my friend. And I just want to thank. I just want to thank, I just want to thank you. So I invite you this week to sing, to hum, to bathe. Just allow yourself to be nourished by those that surround us, that encourage us, that long for us to do what they weren't able to do in their lifetime. We belong to them, they belong to us, and we're here for a purpose. And so I hope that you spend time this week connecting um, to that source of strength. All right, until next week, I'm Dr. B. Feel free to subscribe where you see that red subscribe button on the bottom, um, the right of the um, video.